enchanting time and space in front of these paintings we can imagine the earth the moon and sun as the main objects of the creation and it's full of forms and matters and energy in it just like other scientists Dominic wants to open up space for humanity and space is affordable here there are no limits for success. We are delighted to see Dominic's exhibition here and um, so nice to have them to support us. Our Oneness Art Platform has been um, really doing so much exciting projects and uh, Irene, thanks for coming to support. Nature的大自然的力量和给我们很多positive的energy。真的很荣幸 Thank you, my dear Sally. <laughs> um, the reason that I I was asked by the Chinese leadership to create a logo for the 2008 Beijing Olympics dated back to 1979. Mm -hmm. In 1979, uh, China and U.S. signed the recognition agreement and, and uh, Mr. Deng Xiaoping went to Washington, D.C. Wow. And, and signed with President Jimmy Carter. Afterwards, um, um, Mr. Deng visited Houston for three reasons. First is that because China was uh, starting a new industrial revolution mm -hmm. and they need certain uh, technologies, especially high tech. And President Carter suggested that he went to Houston because Houston is the space center of the world. Right, NASA is in Houston, and that's mm -hmm. where he learned a lot of uh, the aerospace technology and other other new technologies. The second industry that Mr. Deng would like support from U.S. Mm -hmm. is the energy industry because it was for the uh, modernization of Chinese industry. They mm -hmm. need a lot of energy, mm -hmm. and once again, Houston is the capital of energy in the world. Mm -hmm. um, and so he learned that. Uh, and then the third one was that uh, about uh, living long and healthy. Mm -hmm. um, um, you know, with about, you know, at that time a billion people, you know, already over 20% are, are senior citizens. Mm -hmm. and. He wanted the Chinese people to live long and healthy. And uh, it turned out that the largest medical center and most diversified medical center in the world is the Texas Medical Center in Houston. Uh -huh. From 1970 to 1977, when I was teaching at Harvard Medical School, I was studying with two Nobel laureate, Professor Toshin Wiesel and David Ubo. Mm -hmm. And in 1977, uh, the head of uh, Texas Medical Center invited me to go to Houston 
to become a professor in ophthalmology. Mm -hmm. And so I went in 1977 mm -hmm. and, uh, and also helped them build the uh, uh, Texas uh, Medical Center Biotechnology uh, Institute. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, Deng Xiaoping went to visit the medical center. I was the only Chinese-speaking professor. So I was asked to escort him. Uh -huh. And what happened was that as we were touring the center, he found out that my partner, Dr. David Payton, and I were starting Project Orbis. Mm -hmm. And Project Orbis is uh, our dream. Project. Yeah, yes. our dream at the time where we wanted to have an airplane and help the whole world to prevent and treat eye diseases. And that's the airplane 10 years ago. And in 1982, we went on the first trip of Orbis was to China. And here we see your paintings in the state guest house in China, Diao Yu Tai. How yeah. big is this painting? This painting is nine meters tall by four panels together, about nine meters. So it's 81 meters square. Uh, Huge. It has the historical and significance. And I did it by, you know, uh, the director of Del Yutai State Guest House closed up the indoor tennis court and provide an elevator for me. This is me. To do the painting, <laughs> yes. This is me. To do the painting. On the opening day of the Beijing Olympics on August 8, 2008, uh, I was invited uh, by CCTV to interview with Jackie Chan, mm -hmm. yeah, who's my dear friend. And during the interview, we painted my Olympic happiness painting. We get many catalogs from the dominant name, Universe Art Center. So as this is a painting from the Louis Vuitton Foundation, yeah. you create this painting and installation. Yeah, commemorating the 40th anniversary of Man on the Moon in really 2009. Yeah. This painting is 15 meters long. long. I was in your opening. Yeah, I know. And all the guests were stunned <laughs> by this maleficent piece That's of right. artwork, yes. So what is the Kromosky Dasik painting? Yeah, Kromosky Dasik painting is a novel technique that I discovered serendipitously in 19... 80, when I was working um, on my uh, medical images in the dark room, I discovered that using black and white photographic paper, that somehow colors were produced. This is the Kromoskidasic painting. But as you know, most of the color is produced on earth uh, using dyes and or pigments. Before medicine I study physics. I was producing color on a piece of black and white photographic paper uh -huh. without using dyes or pigment, just using the photographic solutions. And being curious, I said, well, that doesn't make sense. And what happened is that, as we know, on Earth, most of the colors are produced by dyes or pigments. Mm -hmm. However, in the universe, mm -hmm. you know, the sky is blue not because there are blue pigments, mm -hmm. because of gravitation, etc., produce blue color because the particles that are attracted by gravitational force are of about 10 nanometers in diameter. And also, you know, rainbows are produced every day without using colors. So the reason that I'm, I was producing color on black and white photographic paper is because um, the photographic paper being 
being made up of silver atoms were supposed to be black and white, but uh, from an atomic atom that's scattered on the on the photographic paper to making a black and white photograph, it is you know it is the aggregation of the silver atoms. But on the way to becoming black, they had to go through the the whole visible color spectrum from from blue to red, oh. just like the rainbow. And Thank you for reminding us. When we see the rainbows, it's because all the conditions are provided, and when it's a white timing, that's right. We, we see it. That's right, exactly. <laughs> it's all about and timing. It's all by like scattering. And together with then the director of R&D at Kodak Laboratories in Rochester, who came to visit me in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. uh, together with Dr. Vanessa Lee, who is the head of visual arts at the Education Bureau in Hong Kong, were so kind to write a book that describes the whole process. That um, when you were experimenting the yes, artwork, and also yes. Dr. Rossiter and I also published the first ever artistic article in Scientific American, a mm -hmm. leading scientific journal mm -hmm. in USA. And this was published in November 1991 by Lamb and Rossiter. Yes. So all these pictures uh, are done by chromoskedastic process. Mm -hmm. The first chromoskedastic painting I did because it was on black and white photographic paper, so not supposed to have color. Mm -hmm. But that's why I discovered this was what we talk about on the Olympics. Yes. And my Olympic painting was inspired by my calligraphy. Right. You can see these are the, you know, represent five rings, mm -hmm. five continents. Mm -hmm. And then there's a person holding it up. But Every Chinese will know what word this is. Mm -hmm. What is it? Happiness. Yeah. So this also represents the spirit of Olympics about happiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I was very lucky because in 1988, President Bush uh, uh, Senior uh, was elected president. Yes. And And he asked me to be the only Asian on the presidential committee. Mm -hmm. In the so US. I was lucky enough to to meet Mr. Richard Nixon and Mrs. Nixon. Where are they? Yeah. And uh, yeah. Ronald Reagan and Nancy Reagan. Um, Yes, uh, President Ford and Mrs. Ford, and President Bush Senior and Mrs. Bush Senior. Uh, in China, the basis of art and culture is what? Si Shu Wa Si Si Ge Shu Fa Hen Hua. This is my poem that received the award. 我们要好好跟你学习啊！你看 truth, compassion, and beauty that enrich our life. That's right. 这幅画是江大千、关山月、林文杰跟教上王合作的，代表中华民族天下一家。这个故事非常有意义的，因为也是因为奥比斯一九八二年底就。去了广州，十二月二十六号我就带他家，然后我就开了电视，就看到他啊，跟到邓小平跟Margaret I had to go from from Guangzhou next day to Hong Kong to ask the most famous uh, Chinese artist in Hong Kong, Zhao Shaoang. And he did the uh, the bamboo, and 
and uh, uh, Guan San Yue did the plum blossoms. In January 6, I was at Jiang Da Qian's home. In Taiwan? We thought he was going to do chrysanthemum because the in China, the four gentlemen are called Mei Nan Zhu Zhu. Jiang Da Qian said, no, I want to do something that, that represent the unity of all Chinese people in the world. And I want them to all live long and happy. Now, how do they live long and happy? Mm -hmm. you, you can see this, you know, longevity is represented by rock. Rock are the longest life. The, the most important health food is Ling Zi. Mm -hmm. So he painted Ling Zi. Thousand year old yeah. mushroom. Yeah, yeah, okay. And so that's the story. Again, without having taken office to China, I would not have a chance to do this. Yes, this is a sculpture piece from year 2017 by Dominic, and he got the honor from Louvre, Paris. Really special. 林先生在2017年被法國巴黎的羅浮宮頒獎了一個獎狀給他的 Yes, this is the Nikot diagram painting of the five elements which is the foundation of the universe revolution on Tai Chi figure mixed with Chinese ancient wisdom. Compassion and beauty is the fundamental base of Chinese culture and we can really see it from our artists in the excellence. Domine has inspired me for many years and I'm so happy to share with all the audience today. And still today I find that very precious to have a chance to be close up watching his life and um, his career. Success is a great encouragement for young people like me. Thank you so much. <laughs>